Today's young buyers have a radically different vision of the world. They demand designs that challenge the norm and revolutionize life on board. And it's this hunger for innovation that underpins the existence of Vrethink. During our annual event, we bring together brilliant minds to share in a completely new approach to yacht design. This is Vrethink's Night Out. My name is Claudio, I'm Italian. I like uh, cycling, tennis, playing guitar, maybe not so good, but... And when it comes to my profession, uh, I am a little bit... Uh, uh, it's a bit difficult for me, because uh, if I tell you uh, I design light, uh, maybe it doesn't make any sense to you. So I collected a few uh, ideas about my friends and relatives. I do like what my kids think I do. Uh, for my wife, I just change bulbs, but never mind. Um, it's, um, it's a very uh, difficult job at the end of the day. So basically, I would like to talk about light tonight to you and why we should care about light. But when I say light, what do you th is the first thing you think about? Any idea? What do you think? Light, what is for you light? Visibility, Visibility okay, but uh, physical things? <laughs> Usually we think about a bulb, an LED, something that is uh, real, but actually we should think about the first source of light, which is the sun. And we should think about the quality of the, the light that the sun delivers. We are so used about this light that surrounds us every day that uh, we take it for granted, but we should not, because uh, there are so many features on the, the quality of light that if we don't care, you just sit down, relax, do nothing. But instead, in my opinion, we should care about light. So if we care about light, uh, um, it would be nice to understand why we care so much about mobile phones and we know everything about them, but nothing about uh, the, the, the performance of the light. And when it comes to light, we usually compromise. So we compromise because we think that every light is the same, but it is not true. And light is important because it relates to our health and well-being. But what are the main features of light to say this is now good and this is bad? Here, for instance, I'm sure you won't eat uh, uh, the fruit on the basket on the right. Will you? Probably not. But this is an example of how light can change things. How many times have happened to you that you enter into a shop and ask the shop assistants, can I bring the jumper outside to check the real color? So this is one example. Another example is the um, different color temperatures. In this area here, we have five lights and every one of them has a different color temperature. I would not even be able to choose the, my socks under this light. So this is terrible. Another example is the distribution of light. In this example here, we have 40 down lighters in a space of maybe 20 square meters. It's just too much and it's a waste of money. We don't need that much. And the result is you look like you are in a supermarket. This is not good. Another example is when we talk about uh, the, uh, the glare. Every single point is here, points the light directly into your eyes. And what do you do? You just turn around or you try to cover yourself or maybe you wear sunglasses. But we don't want to wear sunglasses, right? So probably it's not a good idea. <laughs> so I would like to bring your attention to CRI, to uh, uh, light distribution, to glare, to uh, all these uh, things that we discussed so far and uh, challenge you to be more demanding and think forward. When I say think forward in terms of lighting, it means that uh, we should uh, be able to understand what are the features of the, the, the light, so how we can uh, make uh, our lives better, because it affects our lives, our uh, health, our uh, mind, our body. In this example here, you see that the sun goes from morning up to the evening and there are different color temperatures. So every color transmits a message, simple messages like wake up, it's morning or it's day, be active, study, work, do something, it's evening, go to sleep. If we translate this into a graph, we can see a lot of blues during the day and a lot of reds at, uh, in the evening. These are simple messages that are brought to our body. 
it works like this. So the, the, every color goes into our eyes, to our brain, and then uh, to our body. There is a, an endogenous time uh, keeper that uh, uh, is uh, integrated, let's say, in our uh, uh, body that transmits this uh, information. And this is called the circadian uh, system. So the circadian system works like this. Blue lights decrease the melatonin in our body and the message is wake up, be active. Warm white increases the melatonin and the, the message is okay, now it's time to relax, chill out, go to sleep. This is why, for instance, in mobile phones you have the uh, feature like older night shift or something like that. And for exactly this reason, you have to have a good artificial light because if we disrupt, if we uh, alter the circadian rhythm, then we have uh, problems like uh, weight gain. In some cases, for a big exposure to uh, blue light, we also have breast cancer. We know this, we do this every day, and this is not good. We give our uh, body the wrong message at the wrong time with this uh, uh, blue light. But it's not just a, a smartphone, it's also about every light we, we are surrounded by. So what is the message? The message is do not line up, just do not follow the one in front of us. Be different, and this means do not compromise, look for the best quality light, this means also ask an expert, ask a consultant. And why? Because when you're sick, you look for the best doctor, the best specialist, and the same is with light, because light is complex. Light is a field, uh, an interdisciplinary field, that combines, merges together science, technology, and human. It's a field where, where human and art defines the relationship between the space and the user. So it's very, very complex, and this is why we should care about light. Thank you.